this is absolutely disgusting because you had time to go ahead and get the balloons for the party. You had time to go ahead and pick out the decorations. You had time to invite people. You had time to do all these things. You, ha you picked out your cake. Now you got to eat your cake. Yeah. What's happening? You already know the deal. Welcome back to Organic Wednesday. As usual, man, hope everybody staying organic. Hope everybody week going beautiful. Hope everybody's weekend was fantastic. And just hope everybody get into it, man. Uh, me personally. So we didn't finish all 20 songs as far as the recording goes. Again, everything's written. But we didn't finish all 20. But we got a good seven, eight in, you know, between the times of just stuff we got to do for the weekend. Shouts out to everybody that popped out for the cookout. You know, amongst my circle, man. We had a good time. Shouts out my guy, Eric. Shouts out Lee. Shouts out um, Yandra. Shouts out Kay, of course. You know, appreciate you guys. But yeah, we had a good time. All oh, my man's Mike. Mike Lowry, shouts out to him. But yeah, we had a good time. Um, You know, besides that, the week has been pretty solid. Uh, Just catching up on that recording. Shouts out to all the producers. I 100% appreciate you guys. And yeah, we're knocking out these demos and some fire going to be coming as far as what we're going to be dropping on streaming platforms. So I'm looking forward to that. But this week, we're going to be we're going to go ahead and talk about accountability. You know, something that is huge, especially as far as the uh, personal growth and personal development goes. So accountability. What is that? Accountability to me is the ability to. Just own up to your part of whatever situation happened. Whether that be something positive or something negative. But the biggest, the biggest area where you see accountability appreciated from others is when something negative happens. And specifically when you play a part in that negative occurrence. So let's say you my man, right? And I say, I did everything and I just need you to do this one part in order for it to work. So, you, of course, you say, all right, everything cool. I got you. No problem. Fast forward. You don't you don't hold up that end of the bargain. Right. So I, depending on you. I have the ability to go ahead and call you out call you out because you gave me your word and you ain't do it or you didn't own up to your part of the agreement right now you have two options you can either say damn bro my bad i own up to it that's my fault i knew what i was supposed to do and i ain't do it that's my bad i got you next time right or you can say, that wasn't my fault. If you would have did such and such, or if you would have did this and that, then we'd be all right. That's not my fault. Would you want to blame me? Now, that is disgusting. Why is it just nasty and disgusting? Because you gave your word. It wasn't like, it wasn't like somebody forced you into this position and they said, you're in charge of this and you were delegated this role. No. You... You with the freedom of speech, with you knowing what you got going on, knowing your plate, knowing your situation, you knew what the situation was, and yet you still chose to just not 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 take your part in the occurrence, right? And you won't you won't you won't be able to grow like that you won't be able to have people that mess with you or decide to invest in you or just you know just want to see you succeed you won't have those people in your life if you can't take accountability this is absolutely disgusting because you had time to go ahead and get the balloons for the party you had time to go ahead and pick out the decorations you had time to invite people you had time to do all these things you ha you picked out your cake now you got to eat your cake. And if you did a good job, the cake tastes great. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful event. 
if you did a bad job, it's going to suck. But guess what? You have nobody else to blame but yourself. Why? Because you put yourself in the position. Now play your role in that position. It's just simple as that. Don't don't say you're going to do it if you can't do it. Simple as that. Or if you can't do it, give a heads up. Why is a heads up appreciated? Because it let me know that you cared enough to let me know in a timely fashion, might I add, in a timely fashion that you can't do it and you actually care about me and my efforts and you want to make sure that I'm on the same page with you. That's 100% more appreciated than you just, just bullshitting off and, damn, I said I wasn't going to curse, but you just slacking off and saying you wasn't going to do it and that it's, it's not your fault, it's my fault. Now, that's not acceptable. And I just feel like at a certain age, it just doesn't make sense for you to not be accountable. Especially if you're not where you don't want to be. Or if you're not where you want to be. If you're not where you want to be, you have nobody else but to blame. But that person that you look at when you look in the mirror. You have one job. You have one job and you didn't do it. You can't blame nobody else for that. Who are you going to blame? And if you blame them, why are you blaming them? You can't expect the world to be given to you. You can't expect things to come to you that you didn't work for. Nor should you want things that come that you didn't work for. Because what does that mean? That means you're entitled. That means you're entitled to repay that. If you don't work for it, don't take it. If it's not a fair negotiation, don't do it. If you can't be held accountable for that or you refuse to take accountability, don't partake. And it sounds so stupidly simple, yet people still will go out and do this. And it, it just grinds my gears. It's beyond me. And it's one of the reasons why, you know, as far as just dealing with people, I don't really depend on people as much as I used to. I got I got my close circle of people I really, you know, mess with and I can ask for certain things, but it's hard to depend on people because you don't know what you're going to get. And it's hard to see some people's track record and at that point, you just kind of gambling. You just rolling dice. Is it important to take risk? Yes. Talk about that on another Wednesday. But it's also important to not be stupid and to understand who you're dealing with. And that's that's a that's a situation. That's just the best way I could really put that one. But yeah, man, I, my biggest thing is just just be accountable, man. Own up to your stuff. You know, each cake. If you did it right, cool. If you didn't, hey, at least own it and get them next time. And don't say you're going to get them next time if you don't got them next time. You got to stick to your word. Your word is all you have in this world, man. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave off with this Wednesday, man. Other than that, I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their week or, you know, just gets it going. If you slacked off. Hey, you still got a whole half a week to pick back up where you left off at. But love you guys. You know, this is episode six, I believe. So, of course, I'm going to see you guys again for lucky number seven. Other than that, stay tuned. All right.